so welcome welcome guys so stereos here if you're watching this on youtube this is will be a kind of build summary for uh, this uh battle mage two-handed uh, melee weapon cadence build elemental damage all of it all of it together uh that's a lot of stuff right to to put into a uh, name of a build it is a great build for uh for end game for sure uh, but uh, I was very skeptical of the cadence to begin with. Uh, we're doing it only on ultimate difficulty. Our leveling up was uh, slow with the cadence, uh, still faster than Evil Eye of the Drink. But uh, because it's a melee build, we were dying also a couple of times at the beginning of the ultimate difficulty. Right, level one ultimate difficulty is hard. But this is not about it. This is about how this build was performing after we get uh, a more or less of gear we need for this. Uh, so uh, there's actually only one or two items you need for this gear build to work for, uh, for right? And um, it's not that hard to get, except the last item, except the last item, because it requires your luck in finding some legendaries. Um, the build is very solid, maybe because the soldier class is uh, powerful by itself, right, can carry anything, uh, but like, yeah, we was very skeptical about uh, AoE damage uh, from Cadence, and uh, the damage itself, uh, it's played very well, it's played very well, it's very tanky, we had a uh, huge life leash with this, um uh, life leech starts where they are physical care uh, 18 percent uh 80 percent we're playing in uh patch 1.2 so a better patch so yet there will be some changes to the patch in the future uh and and stuff yeah what I want to say, the items, the items, let's start with the items uh, you definitely want for this build. For the end version of this build, absolutely want a sign of arcane force. This is elemental damage, triple elemental da uh, tree damage, right, fire, cold, lightning, giving you uh, some arc degree, uh, degree for uh, the cadence. With my current version of the cadence, we have 310 degree arc, meaning uh, we're killing uh, basically everyone, every target that's standing behind me as well. Uh, giving more el elemental exchange, uh, Iskander elemental exchange points, a war cry, cadence, that we're talking about arcane force, uh, reduction flat resistances uh, for enemies 38, uh, and uh, this is basically you really you really want to have it one and only item you need for this build. However, it's it's a level ninety four item, right? How do you uh, do it without it? Uh, without it, the best thing you can get is a Voldra Crusher. Uh, yeah, Voldra Crusher. Uh, you basically getting in uh, from uh, the troll in. Uh, Smuggler Pass, right? When exiting the Smuggler Pass, the, the, the Wall Dog Troll, you can go there, uh, farm this maze. Uh, this one, a version, a version we have for level 94. We had a version for like starting from level 20, uh, giving you uh, some maximum target to Cadence, increasing the Cadence AoE, and giving you uh, the weapon damage to Cadence, also uh, increasing its arc attack, right? So basically only one and, uh, and stuff, uh, items you need for the build. Uh, what we have, uh, what we have, uh, other items, are we gonna talk a little bit later? We're just gonna talk how the build works. It's an auto-attack build, melee auto-attack, so uh, you just go in there, standing on one spot, attacking enemies, you have a great sustain because of your uh, huge uh, defensive ability and uh, health damage a leech from Cadence. Cadence is a skill that have a main a hand damage, right? So any uh, anything that have attack damage converted to health works with the Cadence as well. 
Uh, so three percent of attack damage converted to health that you have on restless remain, and that is the easiest way to get uh, attack damage health leash basically uh, put in your gloves. That's work with the cadence, and they're gonna give you that uh, huge survivability, sustainability. I don't think the East Marsh can drop it. Uh, it's monster infrequent. It is monster infrequent of the world like Thrasher uh, that's only dropping from a Walder uh, guy. Right, the East Marches, there's a different guy. Uh, the mace looking the same, but it's a different mace, uh, Guel. Uh, so, yeah, we do have uh, some uh, Mirror of uh, Areoctis Are here for some uh, invulnerability for three seconds, helping you sometimes. But uh, from my experience, we can face tank with this build uh, literally anything. We were just face tanking Mogadran. Uh, for 15 minutes, admittedly, uh, without move, moving that much, uh, without pressing that much of mirror too. However, the build as itself, in uh, as uh, the build who tier one build that can kill those celestials, it is kind of a failure. We tried Mogadran, that's the only celestials I kill. We didn't, admittedly, we didn't try the Kalagadra because I didn't have items to summon. But we also tried Ravager. I, su I summoned Ravager of the mind and he was just nuking me constant constantly. It was a very hard fight with him. Maybe a Ravager of Flash should be easy fight. But nonetheless, I couldn't kill uh, the Ravager of the mind with this build. We also tried a great boss. Uh, no luck. We just finished the uh, Lokar. Lokar was very easy, uh, Rashalga, Mad Queen also very easy, uh, so yeah, basically everything else, like, uh, lower tiers than those bosses, you can stay a face tank, no problem with this build. We have uh, some Warcry, another skill for the build, it redu reducing target damage by 20%, uh, which is kind of helpful too. Uh, the only problem is uh, how low uh, on the resistance reduction this build is. And we uh, are basically supplementing for the resistance reduction with this flat 38 resistance reduction from my Cadence and 20% resistance reduction uh, from Viper uh, elemental resistance reduction. Before we get, uh, before we got the maze here, uh, with flat resistance reduction, we were using this Warder Crusher, which doesn't have like any resistance reduction, but we were using a devotion, uh, the elementalist elemental storm devotion from uh, Rovari Crown, which is doing like 32 flat reduction, right? So that's worked pre pretty well, pretty well on uh, before 94 as well, uh, the combination. Uh, let's look at skill. Let's look at skill tree. Most of the skills went to the soldier tree, right? Cadence, uh, 24 hours of 16, couldn't reach a hired car with it. And the next thing you want for uh, for Cadence is the fighting form, which is increasing your uh, degree of arc attack, right? So uh, you're not like hitting enemy that directly in front of you, but you're hitting multiple enemies that also can stay to the side of you and to behind of you. Uh, right? Uh, it's not doing much for elemental damage, but uh, it is giving you AoE, basically. Uh, with my current build version, it can hit 9 or 8 targets with one cadence hit. Yes, admittedly, some skills like uh, uh, Kalindon Tempest that hit in every scene, so the cleaning speed in, uh, in regards with, uh, for this build is slower slower than uh, Kalindon Tempest we had before. You obviously want a Discord for the skill, right? 100% of physical damage converted to elemental damage for uh, for Cadence, and this is must be to pick. Uh, I went with Menhir Bulwark for some physical damage, which is also gonna convert into elemental for every time you're using Cadence. We have a uh, field command for the offensive defensive, uh, some pin squad tactic for more uh, attack speed, I was using uh, Scar of Battles for 
uh, armor absorption, so I only need like one living armor to reach uh, 97 armor absorption. One uh, military condition for more physique, more health, more defensive ability, more survivability. You basically need one point in the man here, wheel here, uh, one point into a war cry, and a lot of points in the fighting spirit, more offensive ability, a huge crits. All right, one point to the Markovian advantage and uh, Zoltan technique. Uh, Markovian advantage and Zoltan technique not working with the cadence, right? Uh, it's only working with two auto attacks when you are starting the build. Yeah, skill modifier only use of a skill used uh, bulwark physical damage shouldn't be uh, uh, converted by it. it. It is converted, mate. So if you if you uh, look in, uh, if you're looking at uh, at the at the damage here. Right, it's you can at this damage, so it is converted every every physical damage you're getting from any source in accountants to uh, to elemental damage, right? So this is our accountants damage: cold, fire, lightning, burning, and bleeding. There is no global conversion here. Uh, the global conversion, if you go in for uh, a weapon attack here, right? You, you still have some physical damage over here. Right, so it's not. I have thirty percent global conversion. It was, uh, yeah, we're gonna come come to that. But yeah, apparently a cadence uh, converted every physical damage from any source into actual uh, elemental damage. So uh, that's the beauty of it. I was surprised by it myself. Uh, honestly, right, arcanist, arcanist. So yeah, there's a global conversion we had over here. We actually don't even have it anymore. 10% uh, of physical damage. So uh, we we uh, did have this global conversion for normal attacks. Uh, you, you you probably want to get it uh, later in a game uh, after level 50 or so because basically it's more of uh, wasting your points. But because we had uh, the physical damage maze over here, right? Every uh, two attacks before a cadence happen. Because cadence is every sword attack, uh, we were converting that uh, thirty percent of this physical damage to elemental uh, to get more DPS as a result. Like, uh, mm -hmm. so skill wise, uh, we have overlord uh, for more easier offensive uh, resistance, offensive ability. More importantly, we have some I mean, uh, sphere of protection for some additional damage absorption. Um, do you know how much of damage absorption we have right now with uh, Sphere of Protection plus uh, Bulwark? Like more than 25, 27, uh, right? Uh, do you have Inner Focus here for Offensive Ability? Arcane Wheel, uh, occasionally activated. Uh, not much in the end game, admittedly. And Nullification. Nullification, you can play with this uh, to get like at least 5 points, I would recommend. Obviously, we have a conversion for a little bit of uh, stun reduction. So that's our skill our skills here. Let's check out the character as the, sh the character sheet. Look at those resistances. Eighty four for uh, everything except like uh, easy resistance, which is uh, uh, 88, uh, 80 stun resistance, 87 ca uh, chaos resistance, ammo rating. Uh, Almost uh, 3k, 97 absorption, uh, defensive ability huge, but maybe we wasted some points on the defensive ability here. So uh, I spent generally everything in the physique to get uh, as much of defensive ability early on as possible. We can respect it into the spirit, like leaving it like 32 uh, defensive ability, maybe even 28 defensive ability for most of the stuff. And get more spirit for more like uh, DPS here, uh, right? So we have uh, 144 for almost uh, almost 45k DPS with uh, highest uh, damage per cadence 177k, and highest crit so far I had is uh, 372k, 73k almost. Like I said, we died quite a bit early on in, in the in the on this build, and then we died uh, fighting a, a Ravager and fighting a great boss here, 
a couple of times, couple of times to the Magus. Magus just one shot at me. Like look at this, 20, 24k damage taken. That's the Magus one shot at me. Uh, but yeah, basically when you get to the end game, this character was unkillable on normal playthrough. Uh, on the other stats, like we have physical resistance 20%, we have freezing uh, and slow resistance 80% here. And uh, I already show you my, uh, I already show my uh, my uh, li life leech like 18%. Magical damage, fire modifier 22, 100, uh, 23 for cold percentages and 20 uh, to uh, 100 for lightning. This is all that uh, the bulk of my elemental damage here, right? So like uh, we already show uh, how this elemental damage look like more or less in the cadence. Uh, right. So the items, the items I was saying, uh, the sign of arcane forms, the must be items for this build. And before you get in it, you're gonna use the world like a crusher. Uh, another item is relic. Uh, I went with the bane for the uh, some elemental damage and attack damage converted to health. It's level 60 relic, and it was working fine for me so far. It's also giving you a little bit of attack speed. Right, attack speed is probably another stat I should uh, show here. We have on 163 out of uh, 200, which is, was very decent for this for this build. Uh, belt is just random belt from uh, you getting from uh, some cannibals, right? Uh, got it from some offensive ability, have some resistances on it. Um, Another thing you can get for this build, uh, for basically for free, it's uh, a mark of arcane. Uh, uh, you're getting it from Coven in Oldeborg. All right, it's giving you elemental damage. It's giving you uh, more uh, Iskander elemental exchange. Uh, speaking of Iskander elemental exchange, you can get uh, this plus three to elemental exchange from Living Rings, from Living Rings, and. Um, they do doing uh, depending on what kind of uh, affixes you get in. Basically, th this is a way to go for, for the build, those living rings. Uh, another item for fa to farm, right? Uh, like you see, we have a bloody gem on all of those rings, uh, on all of my jewelry for more defensive ability, more armor value. This so is basically my uh, to-go uh, component. And one more item for the Cadence builds here, for Elemental Cadence build, is uh, the Crimson Claw, the Gloves. Uh, they have uh, additional 60 degree arc uh, attack to the Cadence and additional two targets to Cadence. Also 8% of uh, damage can rid to health, right? They don't have any Elemental damage. This was a self-found build, right? So I didn't took uh, items from my storage. I went for the items I could find, uh, just lying around, and that's like uh, how it, we, we manage it. Obviously, we can have like better breastplate here. Uh, I went it for like for my resistances and uh, for health here. Uh, can get some better breastplate. It's actually giving some elemental damage. A pants is more or less okay, giving you elemental damage and offensive ability, uh, and. Yeah, some uh, conversion and uh, sphere of protection here. Shoulder gas also okay. Um, offensive ability in Scandra elemental exchange and elemental damage. But a shoulder guts you can uh, you can have you can farm for ascendant shoulder guts, right? So uh, from a cereals, in, uh, for example, in both wild dream. It's also gonna be working uh, with this build, I think. Pretty, uh, pretty good. Uh, alternatively, early on you can get uh, this uh, shot the gas for physical damage. Depending on kind of like affixes, it can can even get you some elemental damage out of it. Uh, the flesh wrapper uh, shoulder guards, right? This they giving uh, some damage to cadence, but I prefer the Iskander elemental change. You just get more 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 stuff out of it overall. And lastly, or not lastly, another item uh, you can farm. It's Monster and Frequent Tour. It's a Flesh Wrapper Cask. Right. This has been very good. 
this one uh, is giving you a physical damage to uh, well okay elemental scandal uh, exchange doesn't matter but it's giving you like this offensive and defensive ability of uh, elemental exchange uh, so I I'm using this helmet but obviously it could be uh, any other helmet that giving you elemental damage and plus one to arcanist for example or plus uh, yeah plus one of arcanist is probably the easiest one to get to uh, mm -hmm. about the belt uh, as well uh, we're using plus one to soldier right now but uh, we also are using a uh, death griddle plus one to arcanist before we uh, get to the uh, ashes of Malmov DLC so this one you can easily craft in uh, if you have a recipe it's a, it's a faction recipe you're getting from um, I believe you're getting them from 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 uh, rovers right this one uh, on the reputation uh, lastly the last item avenger of Karen plus one to soldier plus four to all maximum resistances and plus four to uh, easter resistance that's what we're using for this it's also giving me uh, Eastern Elemental Resistance quite a bit, so Fighting Mogul Drain was 112 over maximum uh, Lightning Resistance was... was okay, was okay. That's how items look like for the build, like I say, there are some kind of uh, changes you can do uh, with Shoulder Guards, uh, with uh, Helmet for sure, like because we don't need so much of a defensive ability right now, uh, can drop it. It was good. Uh, it was good at the uh, during your normal leveling up process, giving you this sustainability uh, with uh, high defensive ability. Yeah, for sure there will be a griddle recipe from Dallas Crossing too. Yeah, yes, uh, that is. But uh, that one do not not giving you uh, elemental damage. It's giving you like uh, physical damage, I believe, right? So we were aiming for, like for some elemental damage with griddle. Uh, to begin with, that's why we went for Arcanist, and when we get to jump into um, DLC, uh, the thing is because we have more points spent in a, in, in a soldier here, so getting basically plus one to soldier skills giving you uh, more benefits than plus one to Arcanist skill wise, All right? Um, and this is giving some like some elemental damage could be like better uh, better affixes for more elemental damage this is giving me like cold and cold damage only a uh, 60% all right uh, but a shit ton of resistances and yeah this belt definitely could be better affixes wise I just need to get lucky with it uh, we cover the gear, we cover the gear, we cover the skill points, we cover the playstyle. Uh, what else to say about the build is uh, the devotion. The devotion is devotions for elemental damage. I went for them. And the first elemental damage devotion would be obviously Candle, uh, Quill and the Rovari Crown. Because you need Rovari Crown for this uh, flat resistance reduction before you reach end game, before you get an, uh, a Sion of Arcane uh, Force, a Sion of Arcane Force. I also have a crop here. Uh, I uh, did spend points into Lion uh, Owl. Okay, Lion to, to get a crop. Crop giving you that uh, elemental damage and flat elemental damage too uh, for 130. Uh, but we have like Owl, uh, some attack damage uh, on Tord. Uh, to actually enable myself the Mirage. We have five points in Mirage, so we now the elemental damage, uh, health, resistances, defense ability, and flat elemental damage. Flat elemental damage for this build is pretty nice, because every flat elemental damage is going to be applied to Cadence, since it has a uh, main weapon uh, damage attribute, right? Uh, overall, uh, we also have a, a, a Griffin against uh, an, another elemental damage and any guns, right? Uh, 42 elemental damage, uh, uh, a flat elemental damage over here, another 50% to elemental damage, and what else we have? But the most important, okay, uh, there's also uh, the Kraken. 
you know, after after we get in this three initial uh, constellation, the Quill, uh, Candle, and Rovari Crown, we went for Kraken. Uh, yeah, we have a Hawk, Hawk as to enable myself uh, the Mirage. We went to Kraken next. It is giving you uh, quite a bit of attack speed. All right, attack speed is giving you uh, even more attack speed. 50% to all damage. 70% to all damage and critical damage as well and physical resistance. Very good constellation for this two-handed uh, melee build. And yeah, but most important here is uh, the Viper for late game especially because, like I say, we don't have any normal way for, to get in uh, resistance reduction, much of resistance reduction on the build, uh, unless we take in... Uh, the Viper here, 20% reduction to elemental resistances. Uh, did did work with uh, a Mogadren fight. Uh, and Mo uh, Mogadren has 125 elemental, uh, at least lightning resistance, and 90 other elemental resistances. Before you get in a uh, Rovari Crown, uh, for this build, uh, I would uh, use uh, the Terrifying, uh, the Terrify on the Warcry. Uh, which has given you uh, up to 18 uh, flat resistance reduction, right? So we did uh, remove the points after we get Elemental Storm. And after we get Elemental Storm, yeah, and, and now we, we're using uh, Elemental Storm is a lesser uh, reduction that uh, Sign of Arcane Force 38 here. Uh, that's about all, that's about all. Uh, I probably forgot some stuff to say. Uh, right, like it's been four hours, more than four hours since we started playing, and uh, my thoughts in, uh, in in jumble here. So I hopefully this build is gonna work for you too. Uh, it's very powerful, like I said, very powerful, uh, very steady, have a good survivability, and uh, unless you you want to kill a great boss or. Uh, have easily killed all Celestials. I would rate it as a tier 2 build uh, because it can kill like all the Celestials uh, consistently. Mogadren still, we took it uh, down in 50 minutes, standard rate, but uh, that's about all. That's about all. Thank you guys for uh, watching this on YouTube. Thank you guys for watching this on Twitch right now and listening to this. Um, we're done with the build, uh, we're done with the build, don't forget to press that follow button uh, because we're gonna uh, take a break from uh, Grim Dawn for a couple of days, check 